Oh, here's a, a good question. You need to um, manipulate this formula to solve for, we're solving for voltage, no load. So that's this one. I always like to circle the thing I'm looking for. Um, and the idea is I've got to get uh, the voltage, no load on the side of the equal sign by itself. So I've got a bunch of stuff over here. Like I've got to get rid of this. I gotta get rid of this, and I got gotta get rid of that. And uh, the order that you do that in is probably uh, an important important thing. So um, I would consider this stuff on top of the fraction to be like in brackets. So it's sort of like they're anchored together. So the first thing I would probably do is is get rid of this this uh, uh, voltage full load. That's the first thing I'd probably do. And then I'd get rid of this, and then finally I'd get rid of that. That's the order I would do it in. So if you want to get rid of this voltage full load on the bottom, I'd multiply both sides by voltage full load. Voltage full load. Okay? So these would cancel out. And then let's just write down what I have. So I have voltage full load uh, times the percent voltage reg, whatever that is is equal to voltage no load minus voltage full load uh, times 100. Okay, now let's get rid of the 100. So since I'm multiplying, I'm going to divide both sides by 100. These will cancel, but I have to divide this side by 100. Okay, so now I've got uh, voltage full load times percent voltage divided by 100 is equal to, now that I've gotten rid of everything on this, the right side except for what's in brackets, I can get rid of the brackets and just write what I have there. Okay, and if we're searching for voltage no load, then I want to get rid of this. So I do the opposite operation again. So this is minus, so I'm going to add voltage full load on this side and add voltage full load on this side. So I would go voltage... Full load um, times percent voltage reg regulate whatever divided by 100 plus voltage full load is equal to voltage no load. Now some people would, uh, um, I guess some people would do it a different way. That's probably how I would do it. You c you can combine these two fractions by getting a common denominator. But really, once you have it like this, then it's just a matter of plugging the numbers in uh, into decimals or a calculator and figuring it out. Uh, it, when you're doing this in the calculator, I would do uh, voltage full load times present voltage like that. I'd put a bracket, and then I'd go divided by 100, and then at the end, plus voltage full load okay then uh, so that's one and then the other one is is exactly the same as that so uh percent percent speed uh regular regulation is equal to n n l minus n f l all over n f l times 100 so i do the same thing so to get rid of this, I'd multiply both sides. To get rid of this, I'd divide both sides. So I'd have percent uh, times NFL over 100 equals NNL minus NFL. And if I'm solving for this, then I'll add NFL on both sides. So it'd be percent S times NFL over 100 plus NFL equals N and L. We do one in uh, chemistry that's similar. So it's um, uh, percent error. I think it's percent error. And we have uh, what you get minus what you should have got divided by what you should have got times 100. And so if I'm wanting to solve for this, I would do the exact same thing as I did up there. It, it'd be percent error 
times what you should have got uh, divided by 100 equals what you get minus what you should have got and then add should to each side. So it's the same same kind of thing. There might be an easier way to do it. Oh, I forgot to go plus should. There might be an easier way to do it. Like if, uh, if I look at this one, one thing you could have done right off the bat, so um, percent voltage regular equals N L minus V F L uh, times a hundred divided by V F L. So what some maybe I'd multiply the V F L on both sides. So percent V reg times this one equals, and then you could multiply this hundred through to both of those. So hundred V N one minus a hundred. VF1, and then you'd uh, add this on both sides. So I'm getting run out of room. So it'd be percent voltage reg times voltage this um, plus 100 voltage full is equal to 100 VN, uh, NL. I should have been in an L there. And then divide everything by 100. So uh, divide by 100 and divide all of this by 100. So VNL is equal to percent V times VFL plus 100 FL all over 100. Um, you could do that. I, th I think the way I did it is a little bit better. <laughs> anyway, that's... Uh, let me know if that makes sense.